Hello, hello. In this lesson, I would like to show you some beautiful first position chords, namely add two chords. If we have an A major chord, we could substitute that sometimes with an A add two. Mm, right? If you have a D chord, try substituting that sometimes with an D add two. Take an E chord, E major, E add two. How about G add two? Or F add two? Try putting the third in the bass sometimes. That's a nice sound. And C add two. This is one you probably already know. You may know it as C add nine. Uh, you could actually play this a couple different ways. You can do it without the pinky. You can even take your first finger off too. All right, it's a more colorful C chord. These are really colorful chords, as you can tell. And you can use them as substitution sometimes for your major chords. Now be careful not to overuse them because they really bring attention to themselves. But when you play one, it's just a really nice sound. So how about an exercise like this? This would be a great thing to practice if you went... Right, from an add two to a straight major. I'll do that again. How about with the D add two? To an E add two? How about to a G add two? To a G. F add two, I'll put the third in the bass. To a straight F. C add two. So the secret sauce in these chords is that it has both the major second and the major third in them. So it's a major chord with an added second. And that gives us an interval of a major second in there, which by itself can sound kind of dissonant. But when you put it in there with the entire chord, it really brings it to life. So this chord is spelled one, two, three, five. So the A add two would be an A, B, C sharp, and E. And these can also be used on electric guitar. Take an A add two, D add two, E, One place where you may have heard this chord before in a song would be Every Breath You Take by The Police. Based around some add two chords. So this would be an A add two. Here is the movable bar chord version. You could do more and go. You could go. Okay, there would be a B. Get the idea. An E. And here's another movable version with the root on the A string. There's a D. All right, F add two. Woo, big stretch. And here's a little music theory tip. If you know your relative minors, the relative minor of A would be F sharp. So if we played the A add two, if the bass player was playing an F sharp, you'd have an F sharp minor 11, a really pretty one. Say you're playing your D add two, the relative minor of D is B, you have a B minor 11. All right, same thing with, uh, let's see, how about the F add two? Now we got a D minor 11. So you could use them as their relative minors as well. 